Need to mark up a document? You can annotate any document your account has the appropriate rights to modify. First, click an annotation tool to activate it. Choose from text, sticky notes, a highlighter, shapes, stamps, and redactions. You can also exit annotation mode by clicking the No symbol. Let's start with the highlighter. In most cases, once an annotation tool has been activated, the customization bar appears. Here, you can use a color picker to choose from different highlight colors. I'll switch to green, then click OK. I'll click and drag to draw a box. I can adjust it by clicking and dragging to move, or using the resizing handles to alter its proportions. Once I've finished, I'll click Save. Any annotation-related changes you make to a document need to be saved. You'll see a brief message about your annotations being burned in. This doesn't affect the original document, and you can toggle the appearance of annotations using the Show and Hide Annotations controls to the right of the Annotation toolbar. Now, let's take a look at the Redaction tool. This tool doesn't have any customization options, so just activate it, then click and drag to draw a black box and censor any sensitive information on the image. I'll click Save to burn it in. Again, the original document isn't affected. Separate image renderings are generated for the annotated version, the redacted version, and one with both annotations and redactions, so you can export whatever version you need when you need it. You can also stamp a document using text or image stamps created in the admin page's stamp settings. Click the text stamp or image stamp icon, then choose your stamp. Once a stamp is highlighted in red, it's been activated and readied. Click where you'd like your stamp placed, make any adjustments needed, then click Save. You can enter annotation edit mode by activating any annotation tool. Next, click the annotation item you want to edit. Let's resize and move my Disco Pose stamp to get it out of the way of the text. You can also delete annotations when you're in edit mode. Just like editing, click one to select it, then either press the delete key or use the delete selected button. Let's delete my highlight and click save. Approval stamps are a separate feature and must be enabled by your administrator. Note that approval stamps can only be modified by the user who approved the document and cannot be deleted. To remove an approval, use the recall function. If you choose to print, email, or save a copy of an item, you'll have the option to include or exclude annotations or redactions when exporting. Convert your item to a PDF or TIFF, and those options become available. Click Save, Print, or Send, and your item will be delivered in the desired format along with your chosen options.